So here is question number 13. Looking at the options, it looks like a difficult question to me, right? Uh, I mean, you have to use very uh, difficult numbers over here. Let's have a look. Each of the two shopkeepers P and Q sell a sack full of rice of the same quality. For the same selling price, P gives two successive discounts of 10% and 25%, while Q sells it by giving two successive discounts of 15 and 20%. What is the ratio of their respective cost price? If P and Q marked up the rice at 10% and 15% respectively. So cost price of P, cost price of Q. Let us assume cost price of P is, uh, let's call it X. Let's say cost price of Q is equal to Y. P has marked up the price at 10%. So can I say the marked price of P is actually 1.1 times of X. And marked price of Q is 1.15 times of y because he has marked up at 15% and p has marked up at 10%. Now p has given two successive discounts of 10% and 25%. So what is the selling price of p? 1.1x is the marked price. First discount of 10%, 0 0.9. Next discount of 25%, 0 0.75. What is the selling price of q? He has given two successive discounts of 15 and 20. So 1.15y is the marked price on which First discount of 15%, that means there is a decrease of 15%. Next discount of 20%, that means there is a decrease of 20%. So that is the selling price of Q and they have the same selling price. So just equate them. What do I get from here? I get 1.1x into 0 0.9 into 0 0.75. It is equal to 1.15y into 0 0.85 into 0 0.8 and I have to find out the ratio of their cost prices. So I have to find out x by y. What would it be? 1.15 into 0 0.85 into 0 0.8 divided by 1.1 into 0 0.9 into 0 0.75. Of course, everything lies in this calculation now, right? We just have to do the calculation. So uh, I'll just remove the decimals. It will become 115, it will become 85, it will become 8. In the denominator, it will become 11, it will become 9, it will become 75. Then this 11 will leave 10 in the numerator, 9 will leave 10 in the numerator and then 0.75 will leave 100 in the numerator. 1.15 will leave 100 in the denominator, 0.85 would leave 100 in the denominator, 0.8 would leave 10. This 100 will cancel out, this 100 will cancel out, only I have a 10 in the denominator now. Let's solve it. So I can cancel it out by 5 at 23 and this can be cancelled out at 15. Then 5 3s are 15, 5 17s are 85. Then I have 2 4s are 8 and I have over here 2 5s are 10. And ultimately what am I getting? In the numerator it is 23 into 17 into 4. And the denominator is 11 into 9 into 3 into 5. I don't think that we can cancel out anything from numerator and denominator now. Now, if you look at the answer of this question, probably we can answer it very fast. Just the simple reason being this 5 in the denominator. No other option has a 5 in the denominator, right everyone? Look at this multiplication. I don't need to multiply them. In the denominator, it's a multiple of 5 and an odd number. None of the options has a multiple of 5 as an odd number in the denominator. Therefore, option C becomes the right answer for me. In this question, I would consider it as above moderate. The simple reason is the kind of calculations which are there, though conceptually, it's an easy question in my opinion.